know, I've been saving a lot of money since moving here to Bangkok, Thailand from New York City. In this video, I'm going to show you the kind of fantastic deals you can get on beautiful, furnished luxury condos here in Bangkok. In this video, we're actually going to be touring a $400 a month luxury condo right in Rama 9, which is pretty much where the center of Bangkok is. Let's go ahead and tour that, but first we got to get a little bit of a workout in. So the gym we're going to is pretty far, it's about a 25 minute walk. We're just going to try it out for the first time. $1 coffee, a Michelin guide, chicken and rice place, about $2, $2 to $3. As you can see, we have a lot of massage shops. And these are the legit massage shops, by the way. If you're curious how you can tell the difference, is if you have a lot of provocative, like sexy women in the front wearing provocative clothing, pulling you to tell you to come in, then it's definitely like happy ending kind of place. You don't want to be one of those foreigners that go to these normal massage shops and acts for happy endings and stuff. It's that's incredibly rude. Oh yeah, in case you guys didn't know, there is weed shops everywhere here. I feel like it's so saturated now. Like literally every single block, there's like five dispensaries. And once they legalized it, it just blew up like crazy fast. So we have just found it, Maniac Gym. These are the prices. One day is about five bucks. One week is about 20. One month is about 35 bucks. Right, just got a good workout in. Feel pretty good right now. Feel those endorphins in our body. We're about to go home right now, walk 30 minutes and then show you guys this condo tour. We are actually three minutes from the condo and we are here at the very famous Jod Fair's night market. Me and my girlfriend were about to eat and explore Jod Fair's a little bit. If you're not interested in this tour, you can go and skip up ahead, but Here's one of the most popular night markets and the condo is literally right there. At night, this place is crowded. You have everything from vintage clothing to bags, secondhand shoes, drinks, alcohol, everything you can think of. Street food, of course. Got a lot of interesting street food. I'm not gonna lie, I do not particularly explore the seafoods too much. Punta Canarai. Pimp eggs, though. Kundu, I mean, what does this mean, pimp? It's the pimple. Pimple? <laughs> I should. I think my girlfriend's starting the vlog now. She might be a streamer, so if you guys are interested, let me know in the comments if you want to see content from her. Beef skewers with vegetables. Very good. This whole entire beef skewer was just one dollar, thirty bucks. Not bad. All right, we got a fish bowl, a curry soup. It's kind of sweet and tangy. It's one thing about Thailand is it's quite hard to eat healthy here. It doesn't have the problem like in America where there's like pesticides and GMOs. Thailand's problem is that everything has a lot of sugar and a lot of oils. We are pretty satiated. Uh, and all in all, we spent about $5. Pretty well spent. Go ahead and walk three minutes to the condo. All right, we have finally arrived. Right across from the building, we have its very own personal 7-Eleven. Look how modern and sleek this building is. Got its even own basketball court. Got meeting rooms. We are on the 10th floor. My particular unit is 31 square meters. It is about $380 a month in USD or 13,000 baht a month. It comes pre-furnished. Let's go ahead and check it out. So upon entry, we have the kitchen. Basically all of your essentials. You have the stove, you have a microwave, you have the sink, toaster, laundry, refrigerator right here. Right here, we have a very standard restroom. 
Now this is where the mainstay will be. You have your bed right in front of the TV, you have a little couch at the corner here, and you have your own patio as well as a closet. You have a compact living area with a sofa and a coffee table and a view right behind you overlooking the city. And if that wasn't enough, you have your own patio which you can step outside of. Now this is mainly just for hanging clothes, but it's nice to go outside to get a breath of fresh air. The queen size bed is right in front of the 42 inch TV and the TV comes with Netflix, Disney Plus, local cable and pretty much everything. In my opinion, this is like the perfect place for someone that has a lower budget and is not really concerned about space. Maybe they're only staying for a weekend or for a few weeks. But yeah, this is pretty much the summary and what it's like to live in a studio. This is about the average size to expect for a studio in Bangkok, Thailand. This particular unit is about 31 square meters. Studios run anywhere from 30 to 35 square meters. Now brace yourself, this place is insane. Check out this pool. Have you ever seen anything like this for $400 a month? Imagine just waking up every day in the morning, sitting on one of these lounges and just working on your laptop with this kind of view. All right, that was the pool. Now let me show you guys the gym. Next, we're gonna check out the amphitheater room. Basically, where you just come to chill, get some work done, sit down, read a book, whatever you want to do to relax. This place even comes with a playroom because why not? Woo! And we also have a Muay Thai sparring room because why not? Okay, now this is where the serious business is. We have a ball pit because why not? Now look at this view, look how high these ceilings are. We have a slide, because why not? And we even have a kitchen area. This condo highlights one of the reasons why I love Thailand so much. Just the level of luxury you can attain for so cheap is just incredible. Very few places in this world can you access this kind of luxury so easily and so affordably. Hope you guys like this condo tour. If you guys want more condo tours like this, let me know down in the comments below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. That's it for me and I'll see you in the next video.